Hello there. It is very, very much adventure time. It's very windy. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I am going on a float tube adventure. I'm packing in my tube to a, a couple lakes. I was going to go backpacking, but you got stuck in this monsoon weather where it's just thunderstorms almost every day and it's supposed to be really stormy this weekend. So I'm headed to a different area. Just going to pack in a float tube and hope we catch some chunky fish. Going to the lake, you know, one lake has brook trout, another one has grayling. I'm hoping to get in some fish. There is nobody here, which never happens. So I hope, I wonder if they know something I don't. It's, it's weird. Um, but I'm hoping to find some fish because uh, it's, it's weird. It's, there's always people here and there's no one here so anyways got a little hike ahead of me i'm gonna pump up the tube and go try to catch some big fish let's go dead swimming everywhere um i've made it but i don't even know if i'm gonna pump up my tube uh this is a lake that's a trophy producer. It also is prone to winter kill. And I have never seen it this low, ever. Like, and it's like way off color, like murky. I mean, I've seen it murky before, but not, not like this. I'm, oh my gosh, there's so many scuds. Um, I'm guessing it's dead, so I don't know. Yeah, I can see weeds clear out in the middle. Ah, bummer. Not awesome. Yeah, it's probably a waste of time inflating uh, my tube, so I might just go to the other lake that I was going to go to. Dang it. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know if you can see how many scuds are <laughs> so many swimming over by the edge of that rock. That's why this is a trophy producer. Scuds, scuds, scuds. Look at all those guys. Yep, that's why this lake is a trophy producer. Big scud, small scud, so many scuds. So many. Gosh dang it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm fairly confident that it's dead. Almost positive, but I ain't hiked in here, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna inflate my tube. I'm just gonna fish in the one little deep spot of the lake. It's deeper, it's not deep. And uh fish for a little bit maybe 10 15 minutes and then go to the other lake i'm gonna try it you never know it's possible i mean this is a this is a lake that kicks out big fish when they survive you know a few years so it's kind of a bummer but you know hopefully maybe there's one big fish i'm gonna try uh this is definitely one of the better lakes down here when the fish survive, survives they did not apparently so oh well on to the next lake let's go a bunch of grouse Spook. Hey guys, what's up? Well, I have made it. I'm very wet with sweat, but I'm here. So uh, I'm gonna set up my rods and pump up the tube and get at it. Nice. Oh, a couple of really nice fish right there. Oh, do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, he denied it. Nice tiger. If you can see that. There's a couple of nice tigers right there. Got denied by the one. Let's see if this guy will go for it. Oh. Yep, denied. All right, it's go time. Like always, it took me forever to get ready, but um, they, they were very picky. I kept dropping the leech underneath all the like the moss beds, and they'd come out and look at it, but they wouldn't take it. I tried a few different flies, and they just swim up to it. So they picky. They're usually picky here, but hopefully we'll get into a few. Some, some pretty decent tigers, but yeah, I'm ready to go. Got my rod set up. Got the boat inflated. It's go time. We are off. Ooh, there's a little tiger trap by the spook right in front of me. <laughs> All right. I 
got the oh I forgot to tell you I got the all the zebra demon on the bottom, Cronwood French in the middle, and then a Delbach Hairs there at top. It's just the same setup I had the last couple trips. Yep. Starting to get a lot of den denials though, because I, I can see several fish like coming in toward my flies and not, not eat. Fish on the Delbach Hairs there, I believe. Yeah. Tiger, chunky little guy. Ready? Little tiger. Pretty little guy. Come go. Let's go. Good guy right there. If it eat, oh, he's gonna do it. Do it. Oh, oh denied the the zebra demon. Shoot. So I'm like up within an inch of it. Nope. It's definitely one of the prettier lakes on the mountain. Oh, there we go. That kind of sucks though, because I just missed one of the big guys. So I'm going to hit the dunk. Oh, I would hate. Could be all the zebra demon. Nope, I lied. The Cronwood Frenchie. I lied. A Lance Egan masterpiece. Yay. Oh, that's a pretty, really pretty tiger. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have netted it. Because now it's a freaking tangled mess. Oh, I'm an idiot. Didn't listen, didn't follow my own rules. Uh, put on this black and red leech. Try that for a bit. It's my point five. <laughs> oh my gosh. See a good one down there on the bottom. It's like cast out and sinking down to him. This guy came out of nowhere. It's like he's on the doll box. Here's here. I might just throw on another one of those bead head or something because that's what's getting love. I guess I did get one on the front of thing. Thank you, little tiger. I'll take it. Big little tiger, go. Go ahead, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. I switched again to this soft tackle. Uh, here's your style fly with a brass bead in the middle. It was just something I'm messing around with. It. I've done pretty well with it. So We'll throw it on. Just another one on that... Dollbach hairs here. Let's see, because they're just shallow, or they just that's what they're focused in on. But that's had the one on the Cronide Frenchie, but all the rest of the bumps that I've seen have all been on the the Dollbach hairs here. Standard, missing a lot of fish. So annoying. Just tripping very, very slow, very slow training. You should dink, dink, dink. Oh, come on! It's ridiculous. Oh, it is break time. Um, I was getting all sorts of bun bumps. Couldn't land them. Couldn't figure out what was, what was going on. Hope you fine. And then it got windy, and then it just went dead. I stopped. I went around. I could see a bunch of nice ones. I did get one to sip on the Chronomid Frenchie, but it did not stick. And I got a ton of denials on a leech, so I switched to a balanced damsel. Let's get denials on that. So come back to have a little break, eat it on a crustable, drink me some by. And uh, I set my other rod up with a floating line and an indicator. I'm gonna go back over there and just let them sit kind of down at their dip. That's at least the idea. So, yep, break time. Big old wide indicator. Eat it. There are several decent tigers right here, but none of them are feeding. They're just kind of chilling. I haven't seen any fish eat for quite some time. I've switched up flies a lot. 
Just gonna swim up to a some crown of it's down to get not getting any eats. I threw on a balanced mega orange guy just for the crap, just for the heck of it. Oh, it man, they're kind of liking it, I guess. Because all of a sudden my indicator is getting bumped around. Well, I think it's the orange. I, I do have a blood worm below it, but it, it looked like it hit the balanced mega orange good. It's pretty funny. Uh, I switched to a my go-to, a size 16 balanced leech titan Canadian black. I flipped it out and it was kicking around just to turn around and it also my rod started taking it. So it was an instant take. Yeah. It produces then I've had I got two takes on the mega orange. One on the uh, blood worm. Oh, that's a really cool looking tiger. Pretty. Got cool markings. Very cool. It has not been a fast action day. Kind of get my butt handed to me. So, buddy, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a bit. Big boys to eat. Like a 18 to 20 incher fat guy right below me. Eat the, eat the leech. Switched up again. I put my point fire. Just a size 16 balanced leech and a tiny Canadian black I can, I can have under my indicator because I was getting takes and first cast after I, I got two bumps on the retrieve did not stick i don't know which one they hit but i'm assuming the leech sexually cursed with this mischief today like it's not like i've gotten a ton of takes but i i've gotten quite a few stripping ever so slowly and just, they don't stick it's so frustrating i don't want to swear man so back to my indicator I've had it go down three times not one is stuck Oh my gosh. Up again, switch with dry because I've had two pretty good sized tigers come up right up to my strike indicator. Oh, they're on a big dry. Try that. If this actually sticks, this is a full blown uh, words I can't say. The Coronamid Frenchie! Yay, Coronamid Frenchie! Huh. Uh, brook? Yeah, brook trout. Yeah, it's a fat little brook trout. Can you see? Forgot they were in here. Yeah, Coronamid Frenchie on that little fat brook trout. Nice. I don't think there's very many in here. That's the first one I've seen. I haven't noticed any that looked like rookies. I mean, I, I was told they were in here, but I haven't. Oh. Chill out. Chill out for one second. Maybe. Don't. Just, one second. Thank you. Yay, a fish. My well, I can't just got denied. Swam right up to it. Nope. Rough day. Mm. Snack time. These are so good. You should try them. There's a lot of bugs on the water, but I'm seeing very, very little surface action. I can see it's dead calm. I can see the bottom. I can see fish. Everywhere you look, you can see fish. I've never seen any feeding. They're just cruising around. Might actually stick. You would think I was fishing for grayling for how many like just bumps I get. They just don't stick. This guy is on the chronomid Frenchie again. Another brook trout? Please, another brook trout. Yep. Another chunky little brook trout. At least that. Not terribly long, but he's fat. 
Pode ir aqui. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna go here in a bit. That was a big tiger. <laughs> it surfaced. <laughs> Oh geez, it just took a dragonfly, that was awesome. Pick him back to call it quits. Another little guy. This one looks like a tiger. Not a huge one, but oh I got two on! <laughs> what are the odds? That is freaking hilarious. It ends with a double. I got a, this is a chunky guy. Oh, I think he's really fat. Got a goopy jaw. And where's the other guy? Come here. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> I should have netted the first. Uh, I should have netted him first. Uh, where's that other guy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I made that one. That's a really pretty tiger. This guy. Go ahead and do the hand. Pull. Oh, and he got up right. <laughs> right when I got him in the net. That's really pretty. Got a messed up jaw. It's got a messed up jaw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny, it's been super slow and then I end up with a, a devil. My last little hoorah. That one's really pretty besides the jack of jaw. The colors on it, man, really pretty. It's a gorgeous tiger. Super pretty. Yep, I gotta go anyway. So, let's let these guys go. Oh man, this, this, the one with the Goopy John is super pretty. That is one so pretty. Look at the colors on that guy. Bingo, Swimway, buddy. Thank you. And your little friend. I appreciate it. It's been a slow day. I did see some big fish. I had two, I had one with a chronomid Frenchie. One on the other side, right by that log I cast, and the second hit the water, one took a swipe at one of them. I don't know which one it hit. It was with my midge tip, but. Did not land any. Kind of the norm for me as of lately as far as big fish go. So oh well, I gotta I gotta get out of here. So that was fun. You can talk about whatever you want. I can talk about my How cool you fishing are. clinic. Your yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ability to no. catch fish. So, so. That's what, exactly what I do when some guy's video. Me. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> just drag and drag. If you're wondering drag. what this is all about, I was just getting ready to leave and they offered me food and I said no and then they told me it was ribs. Who's gonna say no to ribs? I'm not. <laughs> they were super good, so super nice. They got an awesome camp, great food. We take Venmo. Venmo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They told me it's fifty bucks. But, yeah, super good. It was super nice, and yeah. Fishing clinic, one o'clock. Point one. What's your clinic? What do you want? First, one of of all, <laughs> first of all, where he's recording, you, I tell him how you learned this lake and what the history is that you got here. My it's family. called Utah Lake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, really, tell him my, my, my wife's grandpa got us hooked up here. He's so. a legend when it comes to, like, to fishing back home. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, just, he's, I, how old is he? 75. 76. And he, he 76. is, he's a fishing fool. Yeah, something my dad has in common. There's That's a, well, that is it. Uh, I was filming that group of guys, so it was, Two twins were super funny, but uh, it just my camera stopped. I didn't realize until I got home. So um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, gotten to a few fish. They were very picky at that lake. Caught a few little tigers. Um, uh, those guys, yeah, I was, I was just packing my stuff out, and they're like, "Hey, you want some food?" I'm like, nah. And they offered me those ribs, and they were super good. So they were super nice. It was very kind of them to offer me the food. So, anyways, overall, I had a good time. So I appreciate you watching. Give it a thumbs up. Until next time.